Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. This is going to be a weekly message from the 16th to the 22nd of August. Hopefully it resonates and you'll like, share and subscribe. If not, there's a playlist of timeless spirit messages. You can look at them. Uh, they might resonate and the August readings are out and then the mid-bonus, the mid-month readings are coming out around about the 14th. So we'll just get a couple of cards, the cards here to start the reading off. I will do a tarot and I'll clarify a card and we'll get some uh, guidance at the end. So thinker, thinker, beautiful card. Now this is about reflection, it's knowledge, it's an eight for me and eight's all about everything we've learned, infinite knowledge here. It's a beautiful card. Thinking about everything, reviewing everything, but doing it in a nice, peaceful, calm way. We're not dwelling, we're just thinking and observing. We'll take one angel card to go with us, please. The situation will improve. So if there's anything you're thinking about that maybe isn't going the way you want it, the situation's going to improve. Use the knowledge you've gained here. Have a good think about things. Because anything that you're, that's not going your way is definitely going to improve very shortly, Taurus. So we'll take some tarot. Spirit, please, can you show me more for Taurus? Five of Cups. The Seven of Pentacles. The Page of Swords. These cards just came out for Cancer. They were all in the Cancer reading. So if it doesn't resonate, look at your moon and rising sign. The High Priestess. You might be on the Cancer's Curse. You might be worth looking at that as well. The Three of Wands. Beautiful future card here. The centre of the reading. This came out as well for Cancer. Four of Cups. Oops, I'm going to just... And these cards are well shuffled, honestly. That's a beautiful card, the Two of Cups. Lovely. Knight of Cups, beautiful. Ten of Cups, lovely. And the Page of Cups, this is emotional. This is all going to improve. All going to improve. So what we've got at the centre of this reading here is an opportunity that's been presented to you. The universe has brought to you that you're not really that impressed with. Now, this is what you might have to think about. You might think, oh, my goodness, this is not for me. I'm not impressed. It's not came in the shape or form that I would have envisaged it to come forward. So I might have to think about whether I want to take this opportunity. But this is the hand of the divine and they want you to see to take this cup. Now, sometimes we can't see what's in the cup. So that can be putting us off. But okay, it looks very similar to what we've had. So why is this coming? You know, why am I being presented with this? So have a think about it. Because this is here to help things improve for you, Taurus. But it doesn't bring these things in for nothing. So here we've got here we've got the Five of Cups, which is regret. It's about dwelling in the past. We don't want to be in this Five of Cups energy. Um, it's, it's like we're crying over spilt milk. We can't refill these cups, but if we look here, there's opportunities and there's still blessings in our life. And we need to focus and think about these because that's how we can bring new things into our life. Beautiful. Beautiful opportunities around you here. It might be difficult to see it if you're dwelling in the past or thinking of the past. Now, there's information coming in, or this could be somebody telling you something. Or it could be how you're starting to look at things. It could be any of these things. Now, if it's a person coming in with information, it's Libra, Gemini or Aquarius, but it doesn't have to be. Now, this information, this enlightenment is going to rise you above things. It's going to help you with this situation. So somebody could, you know, it could be the person that's presenting you with this cup that's coming forward and you're having a think about it. And it could change things. It could help you start to see the way forward to, to improving things. Improvement is on the horizon, there's no doubt about it. Use your intuition. You know, this is a, the high priestess is a thinker, she doesn't speak, she is a very in depth thinker. So, listen to your gut instinct, your soul voice, whatever it may be for you. And this is a great intuition card. Your gut will tell you how to go forward here. And it's about the Seven of Pentacles for me is about nurturing. It's about where am I going to put my energies? I'm going to be patient here. I'm going to take time to think about it. And if you nurture things, positive things in your life, these are blessings. Now, this could be a job environment. It could be nurturing your finances. 
it could growing your knowledge within your career so that you could go towards promotion eventually, could be learning something new here. Whatever it is, it's about building more stability for yourself. Now, it could be within your home life or it could be within your relationships. So that's work, money, home life or relationships. Anything that's tangible in your life, it will be different for everyone. But this is about thinking about where you're going to put your energies. If there's information coming forward, are you starting to listen to your instinct here uh, and start to decide what it is that you need to do to make things grow and flourish, to improve this. Because when you have patience and you nurture things, things improve. And this is about improving things for yourself here. It's also about looking to your future. Threes are about future. He's looking out into the future about what he's going to grow here and create for himself. So it's all about the future here. What are we going to put our energies into? What are we going to work on to create uh, a future that I would like. So, you know, this could be also that you're going to gain knowledge. You might get news that you're on a course now. You might have been out of work and there's been a lot of regret in the past. You could take on a new course. You could learn something new. But whatever it is you're building, it's about building towards creating a lovely future for yourself that you want for yourself, that you desire. Now, this could also be an opportunity of a relationship coming in that you might have to think about. It might be that there's been some regret in the past with the, someone. You might have had a falling out and you're thinking about it and there's more information or you need to think about whether you want to continue. Use your instinct, your gut instinct, whether you want to continue to put your efforts into this relationship. Okay, or it could be a new relationship that's coming forward. It could be somebody telling you how they feel about you and you never seen it coming. You know, you might have to have a think about how you want to deal with this opportunity here because you're not sure of it. This was meant to happen. Spirit's giving you this opportunity. It's up to you how you go forward with it. It could also be that if you're enlightened and you've listened to your gut instinct, that you're coming into alignment, you're deciding through thinking and listening to your intuition, you're coming into great harmony with yourself. So you're starting to see here, it's a very well balanced energy. You're starting to see how you want to go forward. If this is another person, this opportunity here is a genuine offer because this person is a mirror image of you. There's somebody who will get you. Now, it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be a friendship that starts up. It could be a business partnership or an opportunity that comes forward to you. But it's somebody who's a, like a soul person. They're a mirror image of you and they see life through the same eyes as you do. So it's a wonderfully well-balanced relationship or situation here. Now, the reason I'm saying it could be a love opportunity is because we've got the Page of Cups. And the Page of Cups is, eh, sorry, I beg your pardon, the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups is movement. Knights are movement. And you can see this Knight's coming forward with this cup. And it, it could be that you're not sure about it. You don't, it could be a suitor that's coming forward that wouldn't normally be your type. And you're not sure. You're going to have to have a think about this. It could be a friend that's telling you how they feel about you. You're learning something new about them. You know, and you're not sure how you're going to deal with it. If it's a person coming forward, Cups or Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio, but it doesn't have to be that sign. What Spirit is saying here that there's going to be a lot of abundance, a lot of blessings is going to come along with the decision that you make after thinking about it. Things are definitely going to improve with, for you. I'm not telling you which way to go. That is not here. We all have freedom of choice, but you will know if you listen to your gut instinct and you have a think about it, Whatever way you go, your situation is going to improve. But this opportunity that's coming, if it's, it might not be a relationship. It might be a, a, an opportunity that's going to move you on to a better heartfelt place. This opportunity is going to bring in a lot of abundance. It'll be good for your family. It'll be good for your friends. If you've not got a family, your soul tribe, it could be you and your pets. But there's a lot of blessings here to be had. Joy, happiness and abundance in every area of your life here. So it's worth looking at this opportunity. It's worth taking the time to think about it because it's an opportunity that could improve things for you, Taurus. And here we've got it again, the Page of Cups. Beautiful energy. Another opportunity, again, that's being presented. Now, pages are the ideas. So this is going to move you into a better heartfelt place. Now, if this is information coming from some, it could come out, information coming forward, it could come out the blue. Okay. This could be an apology as well. But whatever this is here that you're not sure about, it's meant to be. 
And it's a genuine offer, or it's a genuine opportunity, or it's a genuine apology. And it's up to you how you deal with this. But listen to your instinct over it, because there's a lot of good can come out of this. Could we please clarify the page of swords, please? Yeah. Seven of swords. We'll just, that one wants to come. And one more spirit, please. The tower. Right. Okay. So what we've got here is we've got the seven of swords, which could be lies, cheating or deceiving. So this could be somebody that's coming in that's, or something you've learned about that somebody's telling you something where somebody's lied, cheated or deceived you or disappointed you here. Or this could actually be you taking your information and saying, I'm going to take the knowledge I have and I'm going to walk away. Now, there's a tower moment here. Now, tower moments don't have to be bad things. This could be good for you. It's about rebuilding. Like I say, it's not about dwelling in the past. If there's been lies and deceit in the past, that's caused you a tower moment. It's about focusing on coming into this beautiful Nine of Pentacles energy. Now, this could be lies and deceit in the past that you're dwelling on. It's caused a tower moment in your life. Tower moments always happen so that you can rebuild more solid foundations. It could be that somebody's lies and deceived you and it's caused you distress. And you're deciding, right, I've had enough of this and I'm out here. You know, I'll take the knowledge that I've gained here, that someone has told me or that I've learned about this situation or person and I'm going to leave. And I'm going to rebuild a more solid foundation for my future here. Now, this is a beautiful energy of Nine of Pentacles. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is a very independent energy. So it could be that you're leaving a partner, a situation, an employment to become independent. Now, she's a beautiful energy. She, it doesn't have to be a single card, but it can be. This can be single-mindedness. She's very confident. She's very at one with everything. She knows how to grow these pentacles. She knows how to hold on to them, and she knows when to let go things. So she's a beautiful, attractive energy. So this is what spirit wants now. If you think about this, you want to get rid of the old things that don't work for you, situations, people, and environments, and create this. Become independent-minded. It might even be coming independently minded. So you might have to speak up. This could be you thinking about that you want to speak up about things that have gone in the past that did not please you. OK, you're using your intuition here. So you're going to be very good at how you express yourself. And this is about an independent energy coming into your own here. It's going to serve you well. Have a good think about it because this is about improving things here. Taurus, we'll just take some... The energy is gaining momentum. Yeah, think about it. You're on the right path. You're going towards the right situation. Your commitment is being tested. So it might be within a relationship or a job environment here. It's up to you what you do about it. A time for healing. It's definitely time to stop dwelling in this. If you are, if there's any regrets in the past, it's time to move on from them. Okay, Taurus, I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.